hydrogen. It's the ultimate sustainable eco-friendly energy source of the future. So, how will hydrogen energy transform our world? What matters the most when choosing a new car to buy? It's mileage. Part three of fuel cell electric vehicles. Economic feasibility begins now. How much does it cost to drive a fuel cell electric vehicle? Let's compare how much it costs to travel 100 kilometers. When driving 100 kilometers in a Hyundai Santa Fe gasoline model, fuel costs $12.30 based on Korean oil prices. The diesel model, which costs less than gasoline, is $7.30. As for our Hyundai Kona, a battery electric vehicle, it costs $2.50. Then, what about fuel cell electric vehicles? As of December 2019, one kilogram of hydrogen in South Korea costs anywhere between $5.70 and $7.40. With that amount, you can drive 100 kilometers. Costs are less than gasoline and diesel cars, but still considerably higher than battery electric vehicles. So, it seems that fuel costs are not that low. However, that is not the case. Being in its early stage, hydrogen production is still very low, and there is not enough infrastructure to produce hydrogen energy. So governments around the world are doing everything they can to solve this issue. South Korea has established a hydrogen economy roadmap, investing $3.1 billion with the aim of becoming a leader in low-carbon, eco-friendly energy. Accordingly, Korea Gas Corporation is planning to build 25 large-scale hydrogen production facilities by 2030 and lower production costs. So, how much will it cost in the future? The plan is to lower costs to approximately $3.70 per kilogram of hydrogen by 2030 and to $2.40 onwards. That means the fuel cost for fuel cell electric vehicles will be at least three times less than gasoline or diesel cars, and even cheaper than electric cars. What about the price of hydrogen in Japan? The supply price per one kilogram is $10.20. The Japanese government is forecasting that the price will fall to $2.80 by 2030 and to $1.90 by 2050. Such efforts to secure the economic feasibility of fuel cell electric vehicles are being made around the world as we begin to usher in a new age of hydrogen. Now let's look at hydrogen fueling stations. This station, Anzong Service Area in South Korea, opened in April 2019. You can fill up 5 kilograms of hydrogen in just 5 minutes. And considering the refueling time, up to 5 vehicles can be recharged each hour. As of December 2019, there are 27 hydrogen fueling stations in South Korea, but the number is still not enough. Thanks to the efforts of each country to expand infrastructure for fuel cell electric vehicles, Sales have steadily increased since 2014. As of 2019, approximately 17,000 cars have sold worldwide. Comparing the number of cars in population by country, South Korea is number one in the number of fuel cell electric vehicles. Then what about the status of hydrogen fueling stations in each country? At the end of 2018, there were 339 hydrogen fueling stations around the world. Currently, Germany, which has 100 stations, is planning to increase that number to 400 by 2023. South Korea is also planning on increasing its number to 310 by 2022, 680 by 2030, and 1200 by 2040. In 2019, 
China built the first multiple fueling station that provides oil, hydrogen, and electricity for refueling. As for hydrogen fueling stations, they are planning to increase them to 100 by 2020, 300 by 2025, and 1,000 by 2030. As of 2019, Japan has 110 hydrogen fueling stations, which will be increased to 320 by 2025 and 900 by 2030. Many other countries are steadily increasing their number of hydrogen stations. Being the ultimate eco-friendly vehicle, fuel cell electric vehicles are increasing their competitiveness in terms of maintenance costs and infrastructure. If your next choice is a fuel cell electric vehicle, it will truly be a smart one.